Hello, this is Cosmic Graphics, and today we're going to be looking at how to cut out an image to put in another image using GIMP Shop, which is a free alternative to Adobe Photoshop. So I'm going to open GIMP up right here, and I've got some photos I got off the internet that we're going to use for this. So I'm going to use this beach background right here, and what we're going to put in that background is this giraffe right here. And to do that, we're going to have to cut this giraffe out of this image to put in the beach background. And also, just to start out here, if you guys are wondering how I got these windows, like this toolbox, tool options, and the layers and brushes over here, you can go to Windows, at Toolbox with Toolbox Options, you can add them right here, or they're all in here too, in Dockable Dialogs, or if you recently closed them, right there. So here's all the different, uh, different windows you can have up. I like having these up because they're the most used tools. Okay, so to start out with getting this draft out of this background, first I'm going to press just shift and the plus sign right here to zoom in. And also, I forgot, this image is very big, so I'm going to scale this down. So if you go to image, scale image, right now it's at like 2500 pixels by 3800 pixels, which is a very large image. And keep this locked right here so that it keeps the scale size the same. And let's just bring this down to about, say, right about here. Hit scale. So that's plus sign in here to zoom in. And there are multiple methods to cutting this out. One of them is to, which is not a very good method, is to use this eraser tool over here. And what this does is just erases it from here, but usually that's not very accurate, it can be kind of long. So we're going to use the path tool, which looks like this right here. I'm going to click on that. And you're just going to pick a starting point somewhere on whatever you're cutting out. So I'm just going to start clicking right on his head right there. And then you just keep clicking, basically, to add different points to a path. And as you can see right here, I just keep left-clicking. It adds a path around him. And then eventually, we're going to put this path around his whole body. And then we can cut this image out of the background. So as you can see, I'm just clicking. When there's long, straight areas, you can just get some long points in there. When it starts curving, you're going to have to click multiple times to make it more accurate. And you can also curve, too, and to do that, except I would not recommend this usually. See, like, if I click a point right here where his back curves right there, I can hold down and drag and make a curve like that. And if I do that, usually you have to do the opposite curve for the next move which works good in this position because it makes type kind of an S shape. But sometimes, as you can see, that kind of dipped down really low. That's usually not the best alternative, so I'm just going to control Z or undo right there. It's usually just better just to keep clicking and make the image out of straight lines. You can zoom in as much as you want to make it as accurate as you want. I'm just going to go somewhat rough here to make this video a bit shorter. Okay, and here I am at the end of this now. And to finish off, if you look closely next to my cursor, there's a small plus sign. But when I'm about to connect the last two pieces, if I go over that, it makes a different line. It kind of looks like it's two lines with arrows at the end, two lines. And I'm just going to click right there, and it won't connect them with a the line, but they're connected. And... Here's where it gets a little tricky. So, I'm just going to zoom out here. Here's my draft with all the dots and lines surrounding it. What you're going to do is you're going to want to go to up in the left, select from path. So that's going to select everything inside your path. 
but we don't want to select the draft right now. We want to take the background out. So what you're going to do now is go back to select and hit invert. So now it's selecting everything in the image but the draft. And also right here is a step you're going to want to do. If you go over to your layers, and again you can go to windows, dockable, uh, dockable dialogs, and open the layers window, and I've got it right here. You're going to want to right click on this layer, go to add alpha channel right here, and what that does is it adds a transparent background, so it won't be white when you delete it, it'll be transparent, so it'll be just the draft. And once that's ready, all you have to do is hit the delete key, and it just lost its background. This checker just means it's transparent, it's not actually a background, just in case you don't know. And to get rid of all these dots, you can go well, first you can go to select none, and then you can just take any other tool. I'll just click on this and just click anywhere, and here is my draft. And now you can use the eraser tool right here to clean up around some like small edges, or maybe you didn't get some of the background. So I think mine's actually pretty good, but maybe near the tail end. Let's let this zoom in here. Okay, and over on this in tool options, which you can open up from the windows, you can see the brush size, which is right here. I've got mine set on 20, which is like 20 pixels, but that's pretty big actually, so I'm gonna shrink that down to maybe right there's like four and a half pixels. I'm gonna move this window over, and now as you can see there's a little bit of green in there, I can just use the mouse and draw out some of that. Looks like this tail cuts in two parts right here, I can go around there. Some green on his legs, you can clean this up, or clean up your own image better, I'm just gonna make it kinda rough right here. And that's pretty good, so... Here is my draft, and now what you're wanting, or what you're gonna want to do is file export because you can't save any image as a JPEG or a PNG. You just want to gonna export it, and I'll save this as draft. Save it to my desktop, and you can select down here what you want to save it as. Many options. And you're gonna want to do a PNG, and definitely not a JPEG because. JPEG cannot have a transparent background, it'll just show up as white behind the draft. It won't be such a big deal, but it's just better to have it as a PNG so that it'll have a transparent background, it'll just be this draft. And whoops, let's put that up there, and I'm gonna export. Are you sure you want to export? Yes. And now I can exit out of this. I'll save this just because it'll be helpful in case we lose it exit out of that. So now we've got this beach right here. And this is also a really large image. As you can see at the bottom down here, it shows the zoom you're on. So I'm at 25% zoom. Really the image is this big, which is a very large image, and we don't want it that big. So I'm going to go to image, scale image. Take this down a lot. Let's just put it to, I don't know, 1500 maybe. Scale that down. Still a large image. This is a hundred percent right here, so I'll zoom this out a bit so you can see it. And next, you want to go to File, Open as Layer, and find that PNG image you just saved. So here's my draft.png on my desktop, and here it is. And you can go over here to select the Move tool. You can move this around. You may want to scale this layer down even more. I might scale mine down because it's still kind of big. So, layer, scale layer. Shrink this down even more. Maybe to there. Scale. Okay. There we go, that looks about right. I'm just going to set this draft in the sand over here. And 
now this you could say this is complete which it kind of is except sometimes it might not look very realistic in its setting and i don't mean that as in a giraffe on the beach which is unrealistic <laughs> but i'm talking about the colors and the shadows and all that so it looks like a sunny day wherever this beach is and so this giraffe is gonna have a shadow and a good way to do this is to go over to this layers window over here you want to right click in the box go to new layer and just name it shadow and make sure it's transparent click OK and now you're gonna wanna make this shadow layer above your background but lower than your pasted image so I've got mine under the draft but above the picture and when you're in this shadow layer make sure you're clicked on that you're gonna want to go to this pencil right here or actually paintbrush might work better go to this paintbrush tool select a size somewhat small maybe like this big and you're wanna, gonna wanna make sure your color is black on this first color right here so you can just click on that select black click OK and then we're just gonna draw under this draft and you can kinda make a shadow sometimes it takes a bit of time to make it look kind of realistic. I'll just do a rough one right now. Looks like his head sticks out a little right there. Sometimes when there's other people in the image also, you want to pay attention to their shadows to make your shadow match theirs. So I can't really see many shadows. Doesn't look like that guy over there has got one. So I'm pretty sure the sun's just high in the sky, which means the shadow would be right under you and not slanted out in any direction. Alright, zoom out a little, and as you know, that probably looks really ugly, so what you're going to do is, when you click on this shadow, right here you have this opacity up here, which is kind of like the transparency, so it's at 100%, which means it's like thick black like that, and you can take this down pressing this arrow, and as you can see this just went a little gray, I'm going to bring it down even more, as you can see it's kind of going transparent, So now it looks like your draft has somewhat of a shadow. You can position the shadow or the draft, however you want that right there. And now also the draft, this coloration looks okay, but maybe the draft might be too light or too dark, so you can go click on the layer of the draft or whatever your pasted image is. I'm going to go to tools, yes tools, color tools, and there's color balance, hue, saturation, brightness, contrast. So I'm just going to click on brightness right here. So I can make this draft really bright, really dark. I might darken it a little bit for this setting. Okay, or change the contrast maybe about right there. Hit OK. Might do some color saturation, or color balance right here, do some of the uh, colors, make him slightly miscolored to fit its surroundings. That green's a little too high, I might not want to mess with this too much. And there we go, so click on the layer. So here is my draft pasted onto my background. And you can go to File, Export, File, Save. You can have this image for whatever. And yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe if you want more videos like this on more tutorials. We'll go into some, a lot more advanced stuff later on. This is just a basic thing that a lot of people probably like. So, yeah.